Have you ever thought about how your past influences your financial decisions? Our financial pursuits are often a mirror, reflecting our personal experiences and past choices. But it's crucial to remember that these experiences, while valuable, shouldn't be the sole compass guiding our financial journey. Instead, let your clear, well-defined goals steer your decisions. After all, everyone's financial journey is unique, and so are the choices they make along the way. Remember, your financial journey is unique. Avoid judging others by their financial decisions. What role do luck and risk play in our financial journey? Let's dive into the story of Bill Gates to find our answer. Gates, a name synonymous with success, didn't just stumble upon it. Yes, his intelligence and hard work were crucial, but luck played a part too. He was fortunate enough to have access to a high school computer at a time when it was a rarity. So, while it's important to work hard, remember to acknowledge the roles of luck and risk. Success isn't just hard work, it's also about being in the right place at the right time. Why do wealthy individuals often make irrational financial decisions? It's a fascinating question, isn't it? It all boils down to the ever-changing definition of enough. As wealth grows, so does the appetite for more, pushing the boundaries of what's considered enough. This shifting goalpost can lead to risky ventures, jeopardizing what they need for what they don't. So, here's a piece of advice worth its weight in gold. Don't let your definition of enough keep moving. Protect what you need for the sake of what you want. What's the secret behind Warren Buffett's wealth? Quite simply, the power of compound interest. It's like a snowball rolling down a hill, growing larger and faster with each passing moment. Compound interest is the process of earning interest on your interest, building wealth over time. It might not seem like much at first, but give it time, and you'll witness its magic. The key here is patience, and a focus on steady, long-term returns, rather than chasing the highest ones. Remember, it's not about the highest returns. It's about steady, long-term growth. What's the key to successful investing? You might think it's about making the most brilliant moves or having a perfect strategy, but here's the twist. It's more about not screwing up. Yes, you heard it right. It's about avoiding those costly mistakes that can drain your portfolio and derail your financial goals. So, how do you avoid these pitfalls? Well, the answer lies in building a margin of safety. This involves a combination of humility, flexibility, and a frugal budget. Humility helps you accept that you won't always be right. Flexibility allows you to adapt when you're wrong. And a frugal budget, well, it keeps you from overextending yourself financially. This approach doesn't mean you won't make mistakes. Nobody is perfect after all. But it does mean you'll be better equipped to handle those mistakes when they happen. And that's what keeps you in the game. Remember, successful investing is about avoiding mistakes, not making the best moves. Why should we strive to make average decisions in finance? Quite simply because extraordinary financial events are a rarity. They're like shooting stars, fascinating when they occur, but far from the norm. It's crucial not to underestimate this rarity. When the financial world is spinning out of control and others are acting irrationally, resist the urge to join the chaos. Stick to the average, the steady, the reliable. Remember, in the grand scheme of things, consistency trumps rarity. In a world of extraordinary events, sometimes the best decision is the average one. What's more important, your income, investment returns, or your savings rate? It's a question many grapple with. However, the answer might surprise you. The emphasis should truly be on your savings rate. It's not about how much you earn, or even how much return your investments bring. Instead, it's about how much you manage to save from what you earn. By spending less, you save more, leading to increased financial flexibility. Remember, your savings rate, not your income or investment returns, is the key to financial freedom. Why is striving for complete rationality in finance a bad idea? It's because it can lead to burnout, folks. When we obsess over every financial decision, we drain our mental resources. Instead, we should aim for reasonableness. This is about balancing not only the numbers, but also the social aspects of investing. Remember, finance isn't just about dollars and cents. It's also about people and relationships. So let's not forget to factor in these elements. Strive for reasonableness in your financial decisions, not absolute rationality. What are the key takeaways from our exploration of the psychology of money? Firstly, 
Our financial journey is unique, shaped by personal experiences and goals. Remember, it's not about chasing the highest returns, but rather focusing on steady, long-term ones. Secondly, it's crucial to avoid costly mistakes. Be humble, flexible, and maintain a frugal budget. Thirdly, your savings rate is more important than your income or investment returns. Aim to spend less, save more, and gain financial flexibility. Additionally, acknowledge that being completely rational can be draining. Make room for the social aspects of investing and avoid straining yourself. Lastly, leave room for error in your plans. Be open to adjusting your financial plans as you evolve. Embrace market volatility as a fee for long-term investment gains. The psychology of money offers timeless wisdom for better financial decisions and long-term success. Embrace it for a prosperous financial journey.